Uh, things could get a little bit horribly wrong, as cooking next is the man himself, Mr Chris Evans. Well, you're going to help me though, aren't you, Yeah, yeah I'm going to help you. OK, uh, sweet ravioli deep fried. Exactly. Should we get going? Let's get going. OK, so... What's it going with? What? What's the ravioli going with? What's it going with? What's yeah. inside it? Yes. OK, inside it we're going to have two fillings. We're going to have your classic mince pie for Christmas. <coughs> yeah. And we're going to have also, we're going to have raspberry and ricotta and ice and sugar filling as well, which is lovely. Right, what are you making there? We're going to make the pasta. Yes, which is? Which is, um, we've got uh, double O pasta flour. Yep. I we've got like two cracking, mate. Yeah, you, you like that? Yeah. 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 You've plenty of practice, because you've been, you've been to every single Italian restaurant yeah. in Britain, haven't you? Well, particularly Theo Randall's, because he was so helpful, and he lent us these eggs, which are particularly golden. Right. And they're going to just give us a nicer, brighter colour to so our pasta. Double zero yeah, flour, yeah. eggs, yeah. Salt. caster sugar. And salt, caster sugar. Yeah, salt it. is for the other kind of pasta, not for the sweet pasta. Not this one, Caster, right? pasta. That's how I remember it. Okay, pasta. Right, I'm going to make the sauce in here, because this is the chocolate sauce which is uh, water and sugar, and you basically bring this to the boil. This is brilliant, by the way. This takes a minute. Don't be scared of chocolate sauce. Watch what James is doing right now. And it, then add some dark chocolate. But when you're using dark chocolate, make sure you get the 70%. Uh, no more than that, otherwise it's too bitter and you can't eat the chocolate. So you you've, can't only, make... you've only got egg yolk in there, no, no liquid other than that. No. That's it. Yeah. Is it not a bit too uh, Whole dry? Or... No, it's not too dry. It's perfect. All right. Mm. Theo Randall said so. He's the pasta king. He no, took no, Jamie no. Oliver. Did he? He taught Jamie Oliver, yeah. So we'll put this in um, in this cellophane now, right? We yeah. let this rest for half an hour or 48 hours or anywhere in between. But, you, yeah. for a bit of luck, <coughs> catch that. <laughs> and we'll have you back. Thank you very much indeed. How was he? I was going to shout rounders, great, rounders yeah. then. Anyway, right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's one we prepared earlier. Yes. Right, can I just show you this chocolate sauce? Right, go, 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 go. The sugar's dissolved yep. in there. And then you add the dark chocolate. And at this point, you take it off the heat. Um, if you keep boiling it... It'll do two things. It could separate and split, um, but you don't put cream in it. And the reason why you don't put cream in it is you want it nice and velvety and, uh, and uh, well, shiny. you want it to be shiny. And you get that by not adding chocolate. You could, of course, uh, not adding um, cream. You could, of course, use butter in there, but if you leave that off, that'll be ready while you then do our pasta, so. Yeah, pasta's going through once, twice, three times on the widest setting, and then you fold it three times to get all the gluten and the egg mixed together, because that'll give you a more elastic -y pasta, and the yeah. more elastic it is, the easier it's to work with, and the more fun you can have with it, basically. Right. So where did you have this dish, then? Where, where's, where's the inspiration for this, then? Well, I learned to cook this when I went truffle hunting on a cookery course in Italy. Of course you did. About yes. ten years ago. <laughs> No, it is. You are. You are. <laughs> I say dogs or pig. Do I was going to say that. Dogs or pig. Dogs, legatos, dogs of the lake. That's no. what they use nowadays. I've just yeah. been to. Uh, to. Uh, oh, where was it? Italy. Uh, Italy. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we had so much uh, Barolo to drink. My memory's a bit blurred, actually. Right, you see that? That's how your chocolate sauce looks. Done. Done deal. It's finished. Done and dusted. There you go. Right, okay. so explain to us what's happening here then. Well, just throw it in the pasta. And now, the, the great thing about this is it, um, it looks a lot trickier than it is. But if you get that pasta done right, you can have so much fun with it. Yeah. And even the kids can eat it. Noah, my son, who's two and a half, has been doing this all week. He's been paid minimum rate for it, obviously. <laughs> but... <laughs> so we're just going. £3.68 at the moment. Yeah, we're just going thinner and thinner and thinner. <coughs> I mean, they yeah. say. They say um, you know, go down one notch per roll, but we haven't got time. Okay. Do you want me to take over and you do the filling? Yeah, rock and roll. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. So we'll do ricotta and raspberry filling now. All right. Here we That's go. Must remember to breathe there. at some point as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so what? <laughs> remember to breathe. Okay, yeah. now the thing about the ricotta and raspberry filling, yeah. don't crush the raspberries. Right. Okay. Well, don't, don't mush them up. So ricotta, what do you... The ricotta... Well, you know where ricotta comes from, don't you? It comes from sheep. Waitrose. <laughs> <laughs> How's Ollie doing? Is he all right? <laughs> it's like a panto, this is. <laughs> OK. Yes. Um, that's that, that's that. They're done. We're just waiting for yeah. you now, kiddo. Yeah. That's great. And if it looks like a chamois leather, you bang on, you've got it right. That's what you want, is it? Yeah. Chamois so do you want to run it, uh, run it out a second time through here? Yeah, that'd be brilliant. This is the finest setting, yeah? Yeah. Okay. These, these machines are great, they're great fun. Remind you of old mangles or money printing machines. It's, good that the, the, it's never changed, has it? The, that's the model that's always been around ever since I can remember. It looks a classic. Looks a classic, there you go. Right, so we've Perfect. got our pasta here now. Yep. Okay, pasta here, and we're just going to cut it there, and we're going to cut it. Can Excuse I just me? ask, um, how long can you keep uh, fresh pasta like that in the fridge? Well, it dries out. And actually, yeah. as it dries out, it's better. But ravioli, you can't keep as long as, as the tagliatelle or oh. and stuff like that. And also, you've got to flour the, 
the plate, otherwise it will start to stick after oh. a couple well, of hours. It actually, if you make it savoury <coughs> stuff, you blanch it. That's what we do in restaurants. Right. Just drop it yeah. into um, boiling water for about right. 30 seconds. Okay. That just cooks the Is pasta. Okay? Yeah, that was good to make. Right. So yeah. that's ricotta, right. ice and sugar. Ricotta, ice and sugar and raspberries. Yeah. And then these should be about two fingers apart. Yeah. Make sure you try and do them as close to the centre line as you can. And you want to do this one as well, don't you? Yeah, but what we'll do is we'll do these first because these are more popular. Right. And then we'll get these on the go. Well, why don't I do that one then? Okay. And, and then this is. Other. I'm going to spray the water on, as opposed to, because you can get over water these. Is this what Theo taught you then? Yeah, Theo, my man. Theo Randall. Morning, Theo. I hope I'm not letting you down here. <laughs> okay, yeah. then this is, these, these two fingers. Your pinkies. These two fingers are from Theo. Firm down, as firm as you can. Yeah. To start your parcels off, because the enemy of ravioli is eh, 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 hello. There you go. You fancy a bit of a session in our cookery school, then, Chris? Well, I've been. I know. But you, could, you could get up there and strut your stuff. I love it. I do love it. I've got to be honest. There's one of those things that you have in the kitchen drawer for ten years until you realise what it's for. <laughs> well, can I tell you this, Mark? <laughs> you got my drawer. Can I tell you this, Mark? What? They didn't have one in this kitchen drawer because we had to send out for this at half past nine. Oi, oi. Oh. There you go. When we were filming in um, David, the director's house, we have this, in his garage, there used to be loads of things like sandwich toasters and various mixers and all that. And we used to play Toy Story, like, when did you get thrown up and find yourself in the garage? <laughs> <laughs> right, those home are done. smokers and things. Yeah, yeah, home smokers. Now, we're re this ravioli because we don't want any air in it whatsoever. Is that right, Jim? Yeah, but also you want to get it very nice and thin, don't you? called Jim. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> What did he say? I'm having a go at it, Jim. You call me Jim. <laughs> well, Jim, James, Jim, James, Chef. You don't like Jim? I've never been called Jim in my life, but anyway. Have <laughs> you been to the gym? No. Okay, that's one, that one's particularly... I'm not, I'm not, I look as if I've been to the gym. I'm not right. happy with that one. There you go. Right. Still watching Strictly, by the way? Yes. Do you love it? Yes. Can I put these in? Uh, yeah, right, hold on a second. Let's, let's just do these ones. So, it smells a bit hot. Yeah. What? It's hot oil. Yeah, if you're this is just vegetable oil you got in there, yeah? Yeah, vegetable oil. You can use, um, you, you like your rapeseed oil, don't you? I like rapeseed oil, but you wouldn't really necessarily deep fry in rapeseed well, oil. Wouldn't but... they use uh, olive oil in Italy, by the way? Well, probably. I certainly... Uh, yeah, but not places... extra virgin. They wouldn't use... I mean, no. They'd use proper cooking. Proper ordinary. Are you ready? Yeah. Go on, then, in the fryer. Okay, in the fryer. This is the fun bit. 45 seconds, we reckon, for this. Yeah. Uh, any less, the pasta won't be crunchy enough. Any more, and the filling will be too hot, and it'll burn the palate of uh, Mr. Rickstein, which I do not want to be responsible for. Right, well, those are in the oven. Don't forget the whole today's shooter recipes, including it. this one from Chris. Yes, there is a recipe for this uh, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen, and you can find dishes from our previous shows at bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. Chocolate sauce is ready. Chocolate sauce is ready. So get the... It does tend to lump up again if you leave it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, chef. All right. So you want me done. to drain yeah. this? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Okay, good. There you go. <sighs> Nearly over. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly over for another year. <laughs> I'll right. tell you something nice. My, my son was deming with him in the BBC Good Food show. Yeah. And he had his headphones on and he was doing this first demo on his own. Yeah. Right, Jack? And he went under the table to get something and he went, Ugh, like that, meaning, oh, when's it going to end? And of course it was amplified. <laughs> Everybody can hear it. <laughs> I know exactly how he feels. <laughs> okay, that goes over here. They look good. Okay, they're all right, aren't they? Yeah, they look good. So we'll put these on here. Yeah. Like this. This is all working far too well. Theo, <laughs> if you're watching home with your kids, you're the man. You're up for a knighthood as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, we'll do a well, so bit. should you be as well, because I think uh, congratulations are in order. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah, because not only for this, children in need, £1.5 million pounds you raised. Well, it wasn't me, it was the listeners, I'm just the conduit, but I know what you mean. Uh, but it is incredible. Don't worry, you, you did a couple, There you go, a few, few bits of yeah. fruit. Um, That's flour. Yeah, yeah. You nearly ruined it then. <laughs> a few bits of fruit, because it's a bit Christmassy. You know, yeah. It's a little bit Christmassy. A little bit there, it's shaking like a leaf. Sorry about this. <laughs> A little sprig or two in the middle. Go on, Jim, off you go. You want that on there? Yep, there you go. And I think that's it. Go on then. It's uh, deep fried sweet ravioli. Hold your hand there. Thank you, mate. <laughs> well, well done, done. well Thank done. You. <laughs>